talk to you about some things that I have been using. I have right here Latisse. I'm, most of you probably know it as the solution that grows your eyelashes. And I have CarePros, which is supposed to be the generic of Latisse. So I have gone through both of the four months because you're supposed to use it for four months at a time and I wanted to tell you my results. So this one retails for about 120. I got mine from a dermatologist and I did not need a prescription. This one I found online and it was, I think it was $20, but I found it for anywhere between 14 and 25. And so this one is made in the US, the Latisse is made in the US and the CarePros is made in India. So what you do is every single night you take this brush. I got this with the Latisse because they gave you a bunch. I mean, they should, it's $120. So, <laughs> so what you do is you take one drop of the solution and then put it on your eye like eyeliner. Not all the way out, obviously. And then you go to sleep at night and wash your face in the morning. So I will say that with both, I found significant length increase. However, I used CarePros first and the amount of length that I got with it was literally unbelievable. I've never seen my eyelashes look that nice before. I'll find some pictures and put them in. Um, and so I went through the four months and it was amazing. And the care post is actually what made me purchase the Latisse because I was like, oh my God, if this is gen the generic, then like the main one's gonna be so much better. So I got super excited, spent $120 on this. And I would say in the first month, I didn't see that much of length with the Latisse. And then by the end of the four months, I did. However, it was not as much as the Care Prost, which I was thought was very surprising because the difference in price, you would think that people would automatically just get the generic. However, it's really hard to find. And also a lot of times they are, are fake. So a lot of times they're fake. So you have to do your research and look at the bottle and analyze it. If you look on Google, they'll say like, oh, this is a fake one, this is a real one, and you should definitely look at that to know which one you're gonna be getting. So I'll go with the pros and cons. So the pros is one, you're gonna have the best lashes of your life. I'm not a person I'm not personally into eyelash extensions, and so I'd rather have someone come up to me and be like, Oh my god, your eyelashes are so nice, and then me say, like, oh yeah, they're mine then be like, oh, like, they're not, and I got them done here. That's just a personal preference. I think they look great on other people. I just don't like them on myself. And so you're going to have the best lashes ever. With this one, it's actually pretty cheap. I mean, you can maintain um, purchasing it again for $14. And the whole bottle lasted me over a month. So I'd say both of them actually lasted me around five to six months. So that's really nice. Um, and then also you don't have to with the care post you don't have to pay for this <laughs> So that's a plus as well the cons um, For me the side effects. I did have a little bit of reddening and itching around the top of my eyelid and Also, I felt like where I put the solution the skin became smoother But yet redder. I, I don't know um, another con is that you have to remember to do it every day. I personally do a lot of things every day, so as far as skincare and everything, so it was easy for me. However, I could understand if someone doesn't do those things that could become sort of tedious. Um, the other thing is this one is 120 bucks, so that's an investment, especially if you're not comfortable buying it sort of from an off-brand re retailer online, and you buy this one, it's a commitment is $120 every single time you run out, which is a lot of money to maintain lashes. So that's another one. And then also, well, this is a side effect that I actually have, and I've had it with both, and no one really mentions it, and I don't know if this is just unique to me, but so they say it takes four months for your eyelashes to grow completely, and that at the end of the four months, you'll be at like your longest. And so how both of the solutions work is it increases the growth cycle of your eyelashes. So what happens to me is at the end of the four months, around like four and a half, five months, all of my lashes will sort of shed. They won't shed to the point that they're less than what I had before, however, they do shed significantly and then for about two to three weeks 
I feel like I don't even want to wear mascara because I'm not trying to draw attention to them. But as far as a con, like, I think it's just because maybe I started the solution at the same time and so they're going to all fall out at the same time. That's what I sort of think. But, I mean, if you guys have had similar results or experiences with it, let me know because I'm not sure if this is just unique to me. Um, but other than that, I would definitely recommend for people to go out and get the generic one, especially um, if you're not comfortable, I would recommend the normal one too. However, I think that you could get something maybe even over the counter that would be as good as Latisse. And maybe it's just that this one didn't work as well just for me. However, CarePros is 100% part of my daily routine and I feel like it has really changed my lashes. I'm going through one of those shedding times right now, but I can show you up close. And this is when I've been using CarePros because I've actually stopped using the Latisse. I've put a little bit of it on the lower lash line from time to time, um, but you're not supposed to do that. So don't get any ideas. <laughs> okay, well, if you guys have any questions, then let me know. And um, hope you guys have a good time trying it out. All right.